Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and in today's video I'm going to be showing you everything I crocheted in the month of August. I have eight really cute patterns to show you today and each one of these patterns is linked below in the description box if you would like to make these yourself. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so these first two patterns I'm going to be showing you um, are just gonna be pictures because I have already given them to their buyers, but they are cute and I had to share. So the first one is this adorable Winnie the Pooh. This was a free YouTube pattern by Happy Groomy. So really um, thorough step-by-step -step video. So I really do highly recommend if you wanna make a, a little Winnie the Pooh, this is the one to do. Um, now it is does require sewing, so keep that in mind. I know a lot of people don't really enjoy the sewing aspect of it, but again, super cute pattern, highly recommend. All right, the second pattern I wanna show you here is this cute jellyfish. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you have seen this a pattern before but I did do it in a different color this time I really do want to make these in multiple different colors it's one of my favorite jellyfish patterns although again remember this does require a lot of sewing as well but again the final project is so cute so I do recommend it it is also a free pattern that you can get on Pinterest and it is by CSR life and now this next pattern I want to show you is this cute penguin the pattern is actually called pocket penguin they are pretty small but of course when you use chunky yarn they turn out a little bit bigger uh, now this is an Etsy pattern and it is by Madeline Mayco so it is linked below here but these are so cute I plan to make many of these for my upcoming market just because I think that they will do really well so this is the black and gray one I also made a pink and gray one. And then I will insert a picture here of a teal and gray one that I thought came out so cute. So I really do recommend this pattern if you're wanting to make market or make projects for markets because I really think it's gonna do well. But of course I'll let you know in my next market video how those do. Now for this next pattern, I have these cute ghosts. Now this is a free Pinterest pattern. So you can find this and make it for, uh, you know, the upcoming Halloween season, or if you're doing markets, I am gonna be making quite a few of these to prep for my Halloween market coming up. But again, this is a free Pinterest pattern and it is by Not Bad Ami linked below there for you but I made a large one and then a small one actually made two little small ones here uh, so I'm probably gonna make a lot of small ones to sell just because they'll be cheaper price point but again I really recommend you guys try out to this pattern I will be posting a Halloween market prep video pretty soon here with some of my favorite Halloween patterns so stay tuned for that all right, and now I'm jumping into a different pattern theme here that I haven't really done too much or at least shown too much here in my videos, but it is like the baby toddler kind of themed um, items here. And so the first one is this really cute dinosaur lovey here. He's got like the spikes going all the way down his tail here. Um, you can see he's flat, so it's like a blanket lovey, but of course his head is filled here. Um, but I absolutely loved this pattern. This is an Etsy pattern, and this is by Mama Made Minis. Now she does have this pattern in multiple sizes on her Etsy shop. So if you wanna make a smaller one um, or a larger one, that is an option for you on her shop. So this one was so much fun to make and it really only required sewing for the arms and then of course the spikes here, but really I think it turned out adorable. So highly recommend this and I do wanna make it in multiple different colors as well. All right, and this next pattern here is actually for a baby it is another lovey and it is this cute cow lovey oh my gosh you guys it's so cute again kind of flat here but his little legs are filled his head's filled um and this is made more for babies because the eyes are not safety eyes they are yarn eyes and so it makes it extra safe for infants and babies just to make sure that there's no choking hazard or anything like that but I love the way this pattern looks. It was super easy to follow, even with the color changes and everything. I wanna make it in many more colors, but it is so cute. I really recommend this one. 
And so this was also a um, Etsy pattern and it is uh, by the Cozy Stitch. So that will be linked below for you, but so cute. All right, and now I tried something completely new this last month with patterns and I dove into the rattles for babies. And so the first one that I made here is this cute bull rattle. So adorable and I loved it. It was so easy to follow. Um, this was also an Etsy pattern by Crochet Feelings Toys. Um, they actually have a lot of different rattle patterns on their shop. Um, I'm currently working on a cow one as well. You'll probably see that in my next video, but I think it is so cute. Also safe, these are yarn eyes as well for this. And so I think these are perfect for baby showers, gifts or, or whatever. I think they uh, are really good um, items to make. So I really highly recommend this. Stay tuned for next month when I'm going to show you the other baby items I'm working on and additional rattles. All right, guys, for this final pattern, I don't know if you're ready. It's the largest pattern or largest item I have ever crocheted. Uh, it's so cute. And if you thought last month's cow, the fluffy cow I made was big, well, I took it a step further and here it is. You guys, I don't even know if I can get it all in screen or not. Hopefully, hopefully you can see this whole thing, but it is huge but it's so cute I love it so much I think it's gonna be like the eye catcher at my market so I'm gonna have it and so here's a little tail here's it from the back and the front and the way it sits is so cute I'll have to insert maybe like a picture here too I could show you what it looks like when it's sitting in case it's just too hard to show <laughs> in this video but um so cute. I am absolutely in love with it. The pattern I also got off of Etsy and it is by When Crafting is Life. So I love it so much. I will attempt to sell it, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a little pricey. Just the amount of yarn it took and the time it took. Uh, but I think somebody will eventually fall in love with this cow. And I also don't mind keeping it because I love it. So <laughs> I know, I, I swear I'd keep all my crochet projects if I could. It's just that would be a lot. That would be a lot. So I was so excited to share this one with you guys today. Highly recommend. Let me know also, if you did see my last video, which cow do you like better? Because I know the other one was still large, but it's got more like short arms and legs and it's really cute too. And then we got this jumbo guy here with its huge arms and legs. Um, now do keep in mind, this one required a lot more sewing than the other one, but you have to, you have to sew. There's no way to no sew these little chunky legs and stuff on him, but I did not even care. It was so cute and so much fun to make. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious. Would you make something this big or have you made anything this big? Please let me know in the comments down below. All right, that is all of the patterns I made in the month of August. Thank you so much for watching another video. I do plan on posting another in the next couple weeks specific to Halloween themed patterns that I love. I'll share ones that I think would be great for markets. I'm gonna share some that I've made for just home decor, which are really cute, and, and just some few other ones thrown in there as well. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I'm gonna be posting that video and more soon. Click that notification bell if you want to know when I post and be able to watch it immediately. Um, also follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna be posting a lot more of reels and shorts um, between these monthly make videos. You can kind of stay up to date what I'm making instead of having to wait for this monthly video. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to watch another. Don't forget to like the video, comment anything that you want. I'd love, to, I love hearing from all of you guys. And so again, thank you for watching another video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.